Hi, it's Nicholas. I'm going to show you quick tips for shooting portraits for video, which is suitable for interviews, fashions, and corporate videos. Cameras like this Alpha 7 III produces great image quality, but I also recommend camcorders. Audio is something that can be problematic when photographers get into videography and motion picture. I also had hard time once beginning shooting videos because I did not know how to properly capture audio and monitor it. For this kind of a setup, I prefer lav mics because it can focus on the speaker's voice and I have no need of the ambient noise. FS5 Mark II has a MI shoe where you can attach wireless UWP audio unit which can be very convenient for interview applications. There are a couple XLR inputs if you want to use other microphone, both phantom and non-phantom powered. Opposing to Alpha cameras, it is capable of capturing professional audio in one package and I love that capability. Also, get a nice pair of headphones to properly monitor the audio. As a photographer getting into video, another hurdle is the lighting because we cannot use strobes. Instead, we will be using steady lights. Here's a spotlight and a panel light, both LEDs. Very compact, lightweight, and energy efficient. The key to making a good portrait video is to produce a soft light. Of course, a hard light can be a stylistic choice, but it will make harsh shadows. Not ideal for this kind of a situation. There are several ways to create soft light. Bouncing on walls or using various type of light modifiers. Bouncing on a wall or other materials such as bounce cars is an easy way to cast soft lights. Bouncing on a ceiling is also a technique to raise the ambience. This is a type of a light modifier called light dome, which casts softer lights than bare naked lights. I put this on to the spotlight, and this spotlight will act as a key light, a main light source for this model. Bounce cars or different kind of light source can be used to fill the other side of her face. This is called a fill light. The stronger the fill is, it has less contrast. The less the fill light is, there will be more contrast and shadow. To increase contrast, you can use negative fill by flagging lights. At last, to add accent to the scene, I can put a panel light behind her back to cast some edge light which separates her from the background. Now let's look at the recap here. When it comes to shooting portrait, I believe FS5 Mark II can be a great option because it has an advanced color science similar to the high-end cinema cameras such as Venice. It adopts rich mid-range colors, alluring facial tones, and a softer tonal look. And as for color matching, both Alpha 7 Mark III and FS5 Mark II have S-Log 2 and S-Log 3, so you can easily match them in post-production. Framing is also important when shooting portrait videos. For interview shots, it is suitable shooting properly leveled, both wide angle and close ups. However, shooting in different angles can cause different emotions and it might suit for different occasions. For example, shooting low angle can make the model look more powerful, and shooting high angle can make the model look weaker, but it can both distort faces. Imaginary line is also important if you're shooting A and B cam. In filmmaking, there's a 180 degree rule. You should always keep the camera on one side of an imaginary axis between two characters, unless you are intentional. And that's it for some tips on shooting portrait videos. I hope you learned something.